Hey guys, so Cal Val here. You are listening to the Hitting the Turnbuckle podcast. We are here for the Hitting the Turnbuckle live. I am at Apex's training facility here in Milton Keynes with Apex owner John. John, how are you, my friend? Yeah, Welcome to the channel. Thank you very much, no man. No problem, man. It's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, John, Apex are my local promotion. I'm literally 10 minutes down the road from these guys here at Apex. 10 minutes, 10 minutes away. John, just give us a brief history of Apex and how you become to be an Apex. It's pretty much your whole life. Every time I see you, Apex is taking over your life, mate. It's a great promotion. How did you end up here? Wow. Well, I mean, originally, I'm quite old anyway now, but I originally got into wrestling through a friend who was like, oh, you do wrestling? I was like, what? Wrestling in the UK? Yeah, I'm down for that. So I think that was about seven, eight years ago. He was like, come along to a training session. So I went along. I was like, wow, this is perfect. I love jumping around. I love diving into things. Always like parkour, diving into hedges. Perfect. <laughs> um, so I've done the training, I think I was in for about two years, something like that. Um, and then the owner at the time, he was looking to sell. Um, I just sold, uh, sold a little canal boat at the time, I had a little bit of money. I thought, why not? Why not do that? You know, go full in. Mm. You know, really become busy. Because I only got into the wrestle and now I own a company yeah. by accident. It's brilliant. <laughs> it's brilliant. I mean, obviously we've done a lot with Ignite, we've been to see yourselves. Mm. How do you think British wrestling is looking right now? Because we've said for the last, me, Adam and Rachel and Chris, we all travel around watching it now. I've been shocked how popular and how good British wrestling is. And I don't mean that disrespectfully. Mm -hmm. I, I, we all grew up in WWE mm -hmm. and WCW. The last year, travelling around watching you guys, watching Ignite, watching various other companies, Jurassic uh, Pro that we've been to. Yep, yep. How healthy is British wrestling right now? Because it seems to be it seems to be right up here. I think there's different levels to it. You've got different types of shows. Obviously, you've got indie shows. You've got stuff that's family friendly, camp, travelling. Um, so there's a, a vast difference of wrestling right now. Different types of styles that we get on shows. Some shows that have a variety on everything. Um, trying to tailor to everyone. I think it's a good point at the moment. Mm -hmm. It's a good time. Obviously, with WWE UK, that you know that's gone now. But I think. That means talent's just been reabsorbed into into British wrestling now, which is good because they were tied up and there were quite good names that people wanted to travel and see, and now it's attainable again for people. So I think it's on a rise. It's always been a roller coaster British wrestling. I see it slumps and comes back up, but things like AEW coming over this year, that's a good sign. Mm -hmm. WWE coming over here again, and after that show at Wembley, WWE kind of need to come over and put on a really big show to make a statement. WrestleMania. Yeah, WrestleMania, yeah. where are you? Where are you, WrestleMania? <laughs> um, what's the hardest thing about running a wrestling company? It just seems to be non-stop, 24-7. I mean, I could, I'm, I'm lucky I get to sit here and talk about wrestling. Yeah, 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 yeah. How hard is it to run a wrestling company? We just turn up yeah. and you're wrestling. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, i tell you what, it's really hard running a wrestling promotion and wrestling yourself. Yeah. That's really hard. That's why I'm in a tag team. Yeah. Let my tag team partner go deal with what we're doing in the match. Mm -hmm. And then I go, 10 minutes before the match, I go, what we're doing, tell me my spots. And that's all I need to know. Um, like I say, time is the most valuable thing that you need and mine's been taken up doing this. So obviously run the training school, I've got to promote, I've got a book, I've got to deal with messages. I think most of it's taken up in admin, my time. Mm -hmm. I don't have, I was saying to my partner the other night, I was editing shows while trying to order stuff for shows, while trying to talk to people to book them for shows. I need more hands. I think I could do with five sets of hands, and I think I'd do a, a smashing job. Yeah. But yeah, it's just trying to fit everything in. So I think that's the hardest point, is making time for everything. And again, on show days, trying to delegate, but then we only meet up when we're at shows and trying to delegate to people who don't know what they're doing. We don't have that, like a pre-production meeting. Gotcha. because. You know, it's not WWE, people aren't on salaries, they're not on contracts, we don't have like this whole space to go through meetings and things like that, so it's all got to be done on the day, and it is quite hard to delegate. I'm quite a perfectionist, I try to be, so sometimes I delegate and I look at it, and it could just be something like a light is there and the other one's going to be level, mm -hmm. and it's slightly not. To me, I'm like, I'll just do it myself, because at least I know it will be done yeah. like that. So I think, yeah, just trying to let go a little bit and let people... 
yeah. have a go, but then try and have enough time to talk to them about it on the day. Which is what I struggle with, really. I think show. Oh, you see me on show day. You know, oh, I have. Yeah. This is the this is probably the chill I've seen you. I'm not, I'm not used to you sitting down, to be honest. Um, just tell our, 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 our great viewers what um, you've got some great things planned for Apex. We're looking to do some things with Apex yeah. moving forward. Yeah. But what have you got coming up? What shows have you got coming up? What's so, going on with Apex? So right November 25th, uh, Frostbite. That's our next family instalment of entertainment. Uh, it's at the Brooklyn Centre in Milton Keynes. Um, so we've got we've got a packed show on that. Um, I haven't announced this match yet, but we've got a hardcore match on that show. Uh, we've got Blizzard versus Tombi. Uh, Tommy's really hitting it up on the deathmatch scene at the moment. Obviously, it's family, so it's not a deathmatch. It's PG hardcore, but also it'll be a lot of fun. Um, it's me and my, my brother Dave Lyon, the 666 back, uh, against West ID. Smashing Mike. Hitting the turnbuckle yeah. champion. In yeah, action. exactly. And that's the first time we've been in the ring and wrestled. Mm. So that's going to be quite a good match there. Um, we've got a Luna Blue. Unfortunately, Evie Rose has pulled out, so I'm actually working on a replacement for that right now. Um, we've got one of our trainees, Connor Albright, who you might see at other little shows and things like that, against one of our blue-eyed boys, Thomas Riley. Uh, really looking forward to that match. Uh, and let's not forget the Apex Rising Championship, our academy belt is on the line. Um, Alfie Axman Bunting versus Sam Still, um, which is looking pretty good. There's been a bit of beef going on there between them two, jumping each other and hitting each other on matches. Um, Alfie came out and cost Sam Still the win on the briefcase in our, in our last show at Ascend. Uh, and then moving forward to our adult show here at MK11 where we train, um, we've got uh, Terror Under the Tinsel, okay, so on that show it's the final of the Rusty Cup, uh, over 18, so that's the 2nd of December, um, tickets are on sale now if you look at our website, uh, and then we've got our Fatal 4 way final for that, and it is a barbed wire rope match, well I say rope, it's going to be chains wrapped in barbed wire, and you've got Big Effing Joe, we got Paul Robinson, we got the most hated deathmatch wrestler in the UK, Blizzard, and we've got Zombie and that, all fighting for the Rusty Cup, and believe me, it is bulky, it is awkward, it's something you don't actually want to take home because you'll have nowhere to put it. <laughs> Just, uh, it sounds great, I'm, we're going to be here, the Hit the Turnbuckle crew are going to be here, uh, where can people get tickets, where can they find you? So www.apexprowrestling.co.uk, that's where our tickets are. Uh, if you want to check out our socials on Facebook, the handle is Apex Wrestling UK, and the same on Twitter and Instagram. John, been an absolute pleasure. I've it's never seen you sit down this long, mate. Keep doing what you're doing at Apex. We love you guys over at Hit the Turnbuckle. We've been very fortunate enough to come down and see you guys. Uh, we're here training. Come on. Thank you very go. much for having us, bro.